Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Leverlu video. Today's video, Atomic Heart Glove Ability Tier List. I already did an Atomic Heart Weapon Tier List, and I'll have that linked above somewhere or below. This is going to be a tier list focused solely on the glove abilities within the Atomic Heart game. This tier list is inspired by the fact that I just played through the entire game for like the third time or something without using any weapons whatsoever and only using glove abilities. So I'll have that video somewhere below as well. Let's get into the tier list. I'm going to select an ability talk about it, show some gameplay of it, and rank it on the tier list. Up first, I'm gonna grab the shock ability. Now, I didn't misspell it. This is how it's spelled in the game, S-H-O-K. It probably stands for something. The shock ability is the first ability that you get with an atomic heart, and it is not really an offensive weapon as much as it's like a tool. You use it for opening doors, and activating magnets, and you can use it for attacking enemies. And a lot of the upgrades kind of imply that you should be using it to attack enemies. It has like knockback potential, and it can shock multiple enemies with one use, but it's really not very powerful. Shock is best used in rapid succession with other weapons. Like maybe an enemy's diving at you, so use the shock ability to momentarily stun them before you hit them with a shotgun or an ax or something like that. By itself, it is incredibly weak. I almost wish it did more damage. Oh, by the way, the gameplay I'm showing will all be on the Armageddon hardest difficulty. So shock is really useful. It's great for opening doors and it's a good beginner ability because again, it's like the first ability you get. But I, I hate to do this, but I'm gonna have to rate it C tier. It simply doesn't have enough uses. As soon as you unlock other abilities, you're only gonna find yourself using this when it's off its cooldown to zap little flying things out of the sky that are just kind of annoying and not worth your ammo. I really wish there was a little more to this, but as it stands, I'm gonna have to rank shock in the C tier. Next up, I'm gonna grab Polymeric Shield. Polymeric Shield, Polymeric, Polymeric. Polymeric Shield is an ability that is almost purely defensive. Basically what it is is a little like Violet from the Incredible style force field that you can activate and you don't take any damage while you're in that force field. And if that wasn't good enough, you can unlock upgrades to where when enemies hurt your force field, they take damage. Now it's not a lot of damage. It's not a lot of damage at all, but it's kind of free poking damage when you're trying to defend yourself anyway. This ability is amazing for boss fights. If you find yourself in a boss fight and you keep dying, it's probably because you're not running or haven't upgraded the polymeric shield. It's a free temporary invincibility. Like it's so good. Now it's offensive capabilities are not great. It's kind of weird that they even went that way. When you run out of your abilities like timer, it coats the enemy in polymeric jet which I don't really like because that's a whole separate ability and we'll talk about that later. But overall, I, I wish they would have stuck with it purely being defensive. The offensive capabilities are not very well flushed out, but I'm gonna have to rate this as A tier. The more you use this, the more you realize how good it is. If you're using it against small little groups of enemies, uh, like weak enemies, then you probably haven't fully understood its capabilities, but take this into a boss fight and it's astoundingly powerful. Next up, we're gonna grab Frostbite. Frostbite is, I believe, an earlier game ability as well, and this ability is not offensive or defensive. It's kind of neither and both. This ability is great for pausing the fight. So say you're overwhelmed, there's a lot of bad guys around you, and you have low health, and you just need a minute to kind of get your bearings. You pull out Frostbite, you just kind of spray wildly, and all the enemies stop moving. It's really good for that. If you need a moment to think, or you're a little overwhelmed, you just freeze everyone with Frostbite. It does have its uh, tactical offensive uses, like some enemies are weak to being frozen, and then when they're frozen, not only do they not move, but they take much more damage. So maybe you wanna freeze a robot and then shoot him in the head to conserve ammo. That's a valid strategy, but but for this tier list, I'm trying to focus on how useful just these abilities are by themselves. It's okay. I'm gonna put it in the B tier. It has its uses, it really does, and it's relatively powerful for like for stopping the combat momentarily to kind of get your bearings but for just damage output, it's not very powerful. And a lot of the big bosses are just straight up immune to it. Like you cannot freeze them. Um, I'm putting it above shock simply because you can use it more often. Shock is kind of a one-time use and then you wait for the cooldown, whereas frostbite is more dynamic with its usage. 
but it's not that great. Next up, we're gonna grab Polymeric Jet. Now this ability is by far the one I've used the least amount of these abilities, mostly because it's a bit confused. Yes, it's a club ability, but by itself, it does no damage. It can knock robots out of the sky, but it really isn't a heavy hitter. The purpose of this ability is to coat robots or organics inside of like paste. And then when you use a gun or melee weapon with a cartridge attached, those cartridge effects last longer and do more damage. So say you have a shotgun with a fire cartridge, you could shoot a ro robot and it would take damage, or you could spray it with polymeric jet and then shoot it and the damage will last longer and be more powerful. It's a confused ability because if I'm using my glove ability, I'm probably not also using my shotgun. I don't know. I, I never really found a need for this. Also, the cooldown is not great. You can only hold it for a few seconds before it has a cooldown and its cooldown time is way too long for how weak this is. Perhaps this ability would shine when being used against bosses who have a specific weakness. I think I've seen some evidence of that against like the uh, Belayish and such. Using Polymeric Jet and then shooting him with the AK from distance is a good strategy. But as an ability by itself that doesn't lean on support from other weapons and gameplay mechanics, I have to rate this as a D. I think this is by far the weakest. I don't know why you would run this. It's aside from like very niche specific circumstances. Last up, we have Mass Telekinesis. Now, Mass Telekinesis, if you are playing on easy mode, or what's it called? Play Peaceful Atom, I believe it's called, is actually broken. You can one-hit most mid-level robots and organics with this ability. It's crazy powerful. However, again, I am going to be stacking these against each other in a Armageddon difficulty setting. And it is great. It's kind of like Frostbite in that it may not do a lot of damage, but it's kind of free damage, you know? Like, once you're holding them up in the air, they can't hurt you. The fight is paused, so you can look around and look at what your options are, and you're doing little bits of damage, and it is extraordinarily fun to use. It is the most fun ability in the game. I love using it. It's so powerful. In lower difficulties, it's actually broken, and I would put it in the S tier. But on the hardest difficulty, because it you would have to pick up the enemies and throw them and pick them up and throw them like many, many times before you actually kill them, I'm going to put it in A tier. I don't think there's a single ability that's like S tier broken, which I think is probably a good thing. However, I do think Jet and Shock need a little bit of help. I understand that they didn't want Shock to be too powerful because it's primarily a tool for puzzle solving and it's an early club ability you get in the early game. If you're playing on an easy difficulty, you need to be running Mass Telekinesis. It is so broken. But yeah, that's my tier list. Thank you so much for watching. I have way too much Atomic Heart content. I've been pumping it out. Your comments below mean a lot to me, so I read every one of them and try to reply to them. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next Leverloo video.